Hi there. I'm a man, and I want to introduce something to you. It's called iHill. Um, it's a really fun place where you can do anything you want. If you want to study about practical halakha or Jewish law, there's a, there's a class for that. If you want to study about, oh, Satan and Judaism, that doesn't work. <laughs> there's a class for that. Um, study about, maybe you want to learn how to lead services. Let's try this again. <laughs> there, there's a class for that. Or maybe you want to go with how can science and Judaism interact. There's a, okay. <laughs> there's a class for that. You know, if none of these topics strike your interest, well, that's the great thing about Hill. You can always make your own classes. Now, before I get too far into my ideas, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm from Texas, so I grew up without too many Jews around me. In fact, I was the only Jew in my elementary school. So it was up to me to explain what all the holidays were to my friends. Like, why do we eat that weird bread for a week? Or what Rosh Hashanah is? All those kinds of things. I taught first through third graders in Sunday schools and freshmen in Hebrew high schools. And the most important thing I've learned from that is the only way to keep the class from going completely crazy is to keep their interest. And the best way to keep their interest is to teach them what they want to learn. And that's what I want to do for all of you. I want to open your horizons. I guarantee you that anything in Judaism you're curious about, or just interested in, I can arrange a class for it. I know professors and rabbis across the nation. I myself have taught a variety of different courses. If you tell me what you want to learn, I can make it happen. But I want to do more than just arrange classes, because, let's be honest, we go to class every day, and it can get a little boring after a while. I want to make learning fun. One of my ideas is kosher karate. We start off learning about when Judaism says it's okay to fight. And then things get interesting. I have a few friends who are well-versed in Kung Fu, Krav Maga, and Taekwondo. All of them have expressed interest in teaching classes with me on self-defense. So we learn when it's appropriate to fight, and then we learn how to kick some butt. When I was curious about being education chair, I did a little reading to find out more. Did you know that the Hillel Constitution says that if the education chair position becomes vacant, the normal procedure doesn't have to happen because the need for the position fluctuates. So you can see that for a while now, education chair has not been regarded as the most important position. I want to change that. With your help, I want to show that education is the most important part of Judaism and that the position of education chair is needed on Hillel board. I'm a Matt, and I love Hillel, education, and five. If you love those things too, vote me, Matt over for your education. One of the things that I'd like to do is I'd like to really start getting students a lot more involved. It's been my experience that, especially at colleges, there's so many people who know so many different things and want to share that with people. So one of my ideas might be getting a rotating class together where people start teaching on things they're truly interested in. You get the pre-med people to talk about, I don't know, maybe bioethics or some new disease that's going around. Or we get the business majors to talk about how do you deal with your taxes. Or you get the Jewish studies majors to try and explain some of the stranger things in the holidays. I think last year we talked a little bit about at one of the I-Face how Rosh Hashanah is actually a Babylonian festival for the god Marduk, I think. So. Great. Um, what program is already existing program do you want to continue and or grow? Um, let's see. <laughs> a couple of the things I'd really like to do is I'd like to work a lot with Masora. They have an amazing program every Thursday night, Mishmar and TJIT, where they invite a rabbi to come in and speak on topics, and then they have independent study. 
So I'd like to work with them, see if I can help make that program grow, and see if we can work to make that also a giant Hillel event as well. Another thing that was interesting was Ham ran quite a few good programs this year. One of them was the Jeopardy. So I'd really like to get that going, make that an even bigger deal. Maybe rent out the NPR and go with that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no.